This is an emotion. This is the sea in one plate. I need a fork. I want to taste it. Where's the fork? That was good catch. Mm. I love it, people. Let me show you how to do a simple recipe. Cockles and mussels cut a vongole with linguine. It's so easy, so beautiful, so tasty. First of all, you need a couple of cloves of garlic. Crush them a little bit. It'll get all the lovely flavor out. And then you slice it. But why is so big the slice? Perhaps because you like the flavor of garlic, but you don't like the texture. This way you can always remove it. You got a chili, a dry chili. Sometimes chili can be so strong. Just bang on top. Olive oil in a pan, banded olive oil. Garlic and chili. How simple is this? Let's cook it. This is so quick. First of all, I'm gonna put some salt in the water and lovely linguine, straight in, beautiful. Let's cover it for a minute. At the same time, the garlic and the chili, let it cook a little bit. I got the cockles and the mussels here. Look how fresh they are, look. The mussels all have to be alive, which I checked every single one. You can check if they open a little bit. You're just moving around and they all close it. The mass, the cockle as well, lovely. So clean, which I already prepared it. Now you have everything inside. Fantastico. Move them a little bit. At this stage, don't put any salt inside because cockles and mussels, they come from the sea. They already had the liquid salt, which is wonderful. The pasta is screaming nicely. Now, I'm gonna put inside half a glass of wine and half a glass of water. And full of chopped parsley. Cover and shake them a little bit. I remove the dreidels, you can see, because I need a very strong heat right to make sure they open up properly. And I start to open a look at that. <clears throat> oh yes. Oh my God. Now those they're done, you don't have to overcook. So I remove it. And in a pan, you can see a little colander there. Just drain everything. Fantastic, look at the way they all open. We let it cool down a little bit and you will start to, to remove it. The shells, you can actually use as a tongue. Don't put them straight inside as well. Cocos, it's just cooked for a few minutes, not much. Oh yes, look at this chili. It'll give a lovely flavor. So I leave them inside. You don't have to remove the shelves, but I want to remove it because I'm gonna cook the pasta inside this beautiful broth. And then I will last minute, I will put the cockles and the mussels on top because I don't want it overcooked. There we go, look at me while I do it. Oh yes, you can see it bubbling. Now let's put it. It's pasta. This is al dente, which I'm gonna finish it up inside. Oh my goodness me. All the linguine, they sucked it up. All the lovely juice. And the chili's still there. <gasps> I need to, to taste it. Sorry, I need to taste it. Just a little bit. With the mussel. Oh my God. Chili is so hot. Right, at this stage, remove the chili, get the mussels and everything else. You can see, look, they're all here. I left some mold. Just stir them a bit. Oh, yes. I'm going to put a knob of butter to cream it up a little bit. You need a quite high heat because you want the juice of the mussels that cooked up and the pasta sucks everything up. Oh my goodness me, this is what I'm talking about. Perfectly cooked. 
beautiful juice of coconut mussels. It's the flavor of the sea inside here. Let's plate it. Look at this. Oh my goodness me, look at this. Look at that creamy. All right, this is what I'm talking about. Oh yes. <clears throat> mussels and cocoa right on top. Fantastic. Oh my God. This is an emotion. This is the sea in one plate. I want to taste it. Just for now. Oh my God. Heaven. If somebody make it better, I don't want to know. Arrivederci, try to make it. It's quite easy, simple, it's nice.